Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecma'in. Allahümme enfa'ni bime allamteni ve allimni bime yenfa'ni ve zidni ilmen inneke l'alimul hakim. Allahümme ekhrijna min zulumatil vahim ve ekrimna binurul fahim ve ifte aleyna bima'rifetil ilim ve sehhil ahlakana bilhilm. Allahümme zıkni ni'metel ikhlas li vecihik el kerim bi kulli ma'akul ve bi kulli ma'afal. Amin ya Rabbil Alemin. My topic today is a short talk about Sido Mixoma Biritonai. What is Sido Mixoma Biritonai? is a rare condition in which the peritoneal cavity fills with gelatinous material, myosin, and associated with implants on the peritoneal surfaces and omentum. The main etiology of the Pseudomuxoma peritoneae is a ruptured appendiceal mucosil, intraperitoneal metastasis from the ovary, colon, pancreas, adenocarcinoma. And the overall prognosis of Pseudomuxoma peritoneae is fair with five years survival rate, approximately 65%. Treatment is surgical, although intraperitoneal chemotherapy may be helpful. Let us see some examples of pseudoperitoneal peritonei. Here, as we see in this axial CT scan, of the patient with pseudomyxoma peritonei, we see diffuse extensive peritoneal disease with scalloping of the deformity of the liver surface and the spleen. And also, numerous cerebral implants around the stomach here and around the colon here, and around the colon, and here we see extensive peritoneal caking in this patient with pseudomyxoma peritoneal. As we see, there is a fluid density of variable densities uh, involving the peritoneal cavity or with surrounding uh, separation of the bowel lobes. Here another patient with pseudomyxoma peritonei and it is as we see scalloping of the uh, liver surface associated with thick peritoneum and also scalloping of the of the spleen, as we see here, and a fluid and the ascites of variable densities. Sometimes we can see calcification because it is uh, the tumor from the mucin can give calcification, and also the bowel can be displaced. Also, the peritoneum is thick. Sometimes, sometimes we see multiple molecular cystic masses with thick septi. Here, this is another patient with pseudomyxoma peritonei with the scalloping of the liver surface and the splenic surface, as we see here. Thank you very much for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika shadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaika.